Okay, continuing on with our tour. So here's the LS6 motor. Uh, I got it with about 5,000 miles on it after it had been rebuilt. And it, when it had been rebuilt, it had the uh, cam and valve springs upgraded so it could do higher RPMs. Uh, I used for simplicity and because and I just like factory stuff when it comes to pulleys, etc. Um, I used the stock factory Z06 uh, bracketry for the alternator, power steering, etc. The only thing I had to buy separately was I added the air conditioning afterwards, so I had to buy an aftermarket setup to mount the um, vintage air system. Uh, let's see. Um, here's more just more nice views of the chassis. Uh, the steering column, I used the stock steering column because the car originally had a, a telescoping steering column and I really liked that so I kept that. Um, went with a 23 pound AGM battery to keep the weight down. Um, and it's also easier to remove. If you've ever had a C2 Corvette, you'll know that they're a pain in the butt to remove the batteries on. So that's because of its size, it's much more you know compact and easy to remove. It's a DeWitt's radiator. They originally had a straight blade fan that sounded horrible. It sounded like a helicopter taking off. So I replaced that with a curved blade fan, which is much, much quieter. Um, here is the bowler frame mounted um, master cylinder for the hydraulic clutch. The nice thing about that is it uses, it does not put any pressure on the, the firewall. Most of the guys that run a, a hydraulic clutch on a C2, they end up trying to reinforce the fiberglass or do something, but bottom line is fiberglass doesn't do real well as a supporting structure for for a uh, brake, for a uh, clutch pedal. So um, the nice thing about this version, it's expensive, it's stupidly expensive, but it does not put any pressure whatsoever on the uh, firewall. It's just the shaft coming through, going into the master cylinder. If you did ever want to switch it back to um, a mechanical clutch setup with the Z pedal like they did originally. Um, this, when the chassis was being fabbed, I had the manufacturer put in a locating bracket for the Z pedal. And there is a ball stud you can put on these motors. I've got an adapter to put the ball stud on to run the Z pedal if you want. Um, the headers are also, will also clear the Z pedal because um, I had that set up originally in the old chassis in the stock chassis I had the uh, it set up with the mechanical clutch and it, the, the these headers will clear a Z pedal oh um, on the firewall the stock Corvettes had the uh, a fairly unattractive um, wiper motor sticking showing sticking right about there um, I, I just made a real simple, as you can see, a real simple sheet metal cover that hides all that as well as hides a lot of the wiring going to the, to the C2 or to the uh, LS6 engine harness. The, sorry, the engine control module itself is located down in the, behind the wheel well on the driver's side, as you can see. And that's also where the uh, reserve for the uh, clutch master cylinder is. Uh, so, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, going to the interior. So, if you're familiar with C2 convertibles and, and actually coupes, there was a small re drop area right about here where there was a tiny bit more room for you know small luggage um, you lose that when you do this the sr3 chassis conversion because there's a a chassis kick up right right behind this 
underneath, obviously. Um, and so you lose some of that, you know, minimal storage. If you're looking at a C2 for doing a, like it's, it certainly doesn't have the space of a motor home or anything. Uh, I put the back speakers back here. Um, a lot of guys put them way back in the, along the back wall, but if you have the top down, you can't hear a damn thing that way. You really honestly can't hear much of in this car at, at freeway speeds anyway. <laughs> But at least you can hear it around town a lot better this way. Um, let's see. Put you on pause.